Yo, 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 what's good, everyone? That was How I Feel by Glitch Mouth off their last EP, Cure for the Common Flow. And right now we got them all in the station. Why don't y'all just introduce yourselves? What up, this is Marvin MC. And it's Kid Presentable. And I'm um, Sister Snowbunny. So how, how y'all feeling today? How y'all doing? Good, energetic. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I hear that. You know, I want to welcome you guys on the show. You know, I appreciate you guys coming out, you know. Thank you. Oh, you. no. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, you guys, you know, go by the name Glitchmouth as a group, correct? Mm -hmm. And for those that may not who exactly know who you are, explain to them where you're coming from and how did Glitchmouth come together? Well, be honest, my man over here, KP, can present will lift us up, man. He's like he's like the resident that brought all the parts together, like Wu Tang. But um, <laughs> I mean, I, I came out of um, he coming out of a more classical music tradition, but uh, I came up out of the freestyle tradition in Hartford, Connecticut, just kicking the uh, corners, you know, doing what you do on the corners, but yeah. but you know, trying to <laughs> you know trying to pass the time with something productive, you know, freestyling, freestyling. I never even wrote my first verse until this man called me, mm. but um. But yeah, I go by the name Mermaid the MC, aka Phase Three, and um, my man K Pito, he does all the production. I'm the main lyricist. We got Sister Snow Bunny, always killing it on the vocals, the highs and lows, bringing it up, bringing it down, and uh, pass it on to my man K Pito. Yeah, I mean we uh, we kind of came together because uh, I mean we're cousins, me and Mama. Uh, and so when I started getting into this, like I I had heard him freestyling my whole life, and so when I started doing it, I just kind of called him up. But to begin with, he just made a couple of beats just to mess around with. I mean, but he's he's nice, man. He's real nice. Um, and like the first beat he ever made was like way more complex than the, than the shit I was hearing um, around around the spot, around the way. Um, <laughs> but um, so he came down. And he just wanted me to freestyle on it, so I freestyled on it a few times. He recorded it just to have something to, so that he could display his beats and beat potential. Uh, but then we was like, well, if we're going to put it together like this, then we're not putting it together more complicated and actually make something of it. And yeah. so then, then I started writing. Nice, nice. No, I feel that. I feel that. And what about you? Me? Yes. <laughs> well, um, me and uh, Kid Presentable actually went to school together at Purchase um, in the classical department. I was doing opera at the time, which was a complete and total mistake. But uh, <laughs> Why is that? Why would you say that? Because <laughs> I, I, I can't sing like that. I'm... You know, I'm a little more rugged. Mm. I'm a little more. Uh, uh, for the hip hop. Yeah, yeah, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Opera wasn't doing it for me, and I, I was kind of an outcast in that world. Um, but he had written some songs, some songs I should say that pieces, uh, classical pieces, and he had me come and sing on them. Um, and you know, as we both grew from that, <laughs> uh, later on, he called me up to to you know try out something new this uh, glitch mouth project and I dug it instantly. It's much more my style. Oh, but I've been yeah. working together ever since. And I met him he's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that on this? Uh, well, he's he, fantastic. I mean, you guys don't have to uh, not cost as much, but we'll, we'll let it slide. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, we do what we do. We're just not used to having to censor ourselves it's too much. It's true. Uh, listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out raw. Yeah. Yeah. That, see, that's the problem. Like having a hip hop show, like so many people, are like yo, man, I'm not used to that. But you know, that's just part of a culture. Like in hip hop music, free expression, be able to say whatever you want to say, when mm -hmm. you want to say, how you want to say it. Yeah, yeah, especially so coming, coming from that freestyle tradition, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're just sort of not even thinking about what you're saying. You're just saying it and it's just flowing out of your conscience, out, out into, through your mouth and into the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just on the spot, you know? Absolutely. No, I definitely dig what y'all say. It's all right. I mean, I even let some slide sometimes, but it's all good. So, right. who would you say are some of your inspirations as, as a group whole and just as individuals? Uh, let's start off with the production on this one. Uh, so, I mean, production-wise, it's... I mean, it's, it's people you would expect. Uh, it's like the RZA, you know, um, the big names, Primo, uh, Pete Rock, uh, Buck Wild, the DITC people, uh, just like 90 Cats, what really, I mean, that's that's what did it for me. You know? Yeah. Uh, and like, there's some newer dudes too, like MF Doom kills it, and like, kind of linguists, they do great stuff, and Stoop from Jedi, like, um, like, I'm not even that into them as a group overall, but Stoop kills it, you know what I mean? 
And so like it's a mixture of those two, kind of like the newer dudes that do like really kind of uh, uh, more meticulous stuff than maybe like a, a lot of people nowadays are doing. Mm -hmm. And then like 90s people are like, because that vibe just kills. And that's kind of what does it for me most. Yeah, that raw stuff just really, it hits home. It's definitely, you can feel the expression and the emotion that's coming out of the production of 90s hip hop. Yeah, between 93 and 2003, you can't really imagine. And even towards the end, it was already for all of <laughs> I mean, personally, I mean, my, my, my all-time hands-down favorite MC lyricist was Big Pun, and like, just because I love, I love complicated lyrics. Like, I like rhyme scheme to the like, built together like a ladder, you know what I'm saying, so that each part comes back and matches another part and keeps going. And even when you switch a rhyme scheme, there's a little transition in there, so it tricks the ear, like, you don't even feel like anything's changed, it just keeps flowing on and on. So, I mean, obviously, like, Nas, Illmatic, it was written. I mean, those are two of my favorite albums of all time. That, that like really started off to me. I really started off like the, the ill lyricism. Like before that, like you know, Rock Kim Catch was doing a thing. But when when Nas dropped Illmatic to me, that's when like the whole game just like jumped up a level. And like Kat, Biggie and Tupac, yeah. they're great. Ill time and great subject matter. But they, their rhyme schemes weren't built like that. Not like how Nas is mm -hmm. came off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was more like coming from the do 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 do, do like heart, but. Nas, he like you can tell he put so much work into everything that he wrote, and that's what I try to emulate. So I, I like the complicated lyrics. It's like MF Doom, he's silly and he he say a bunch of random stuff, <laughs> but I mean like everything links up like in in ill like unsuspected ways, and like I really really dig that. And then you know pretty much for new cats is doing anything, the only new cat that I even like at all is Kendrick, because mm -hmm. like you know, Kendrick can kill a sin, but kill a sin. Just, <laughs> Killer Sin just got arrested again, uh, so he ain't been putting nothing out for a while. Killer Sin, he, if y'all don't know, he's from Kill Army. Y'all should check check his stuff out. Cause it's real. It's it's like not even that complicated, but the way he just links it together is so technically strong. And he just has this feeling that comes through. Check that man out. But also like a horseshoe. Oh yeah, horseshoe game. That's a, that's only that's another new group that's really doing anything. They 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 signed under um. Crooked Eye. Oh, where they coming out? They're all from Long, Long Beach, Long Beach. Uh, California. Nice, nice. But yeah, I mean, those, but they almost, whenever they try to do commercial stuff, it fails, like, in my opinion. And it's like, they, that's why I never really bought into that. Like, even how I feel, like, I tried to write that to be sort of a laid back jam, but I mean, really, that's not even my style, man. Like, I, I like I like putting it together like that, but I, when, I, when I really get into my zone, when I'm like where I want to be in my phase, in my zone, then I'm writing some, like, Intense, non-stop, hit you, hit you, hit you with rhymes, 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 rhymes stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm trying absolutely. real hard not to curse right now. <laughs> 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 it's all good, man. No, you're doing an excellent job. Excellent job. You know, right now, you know, I'm like, 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 who would you say is some of your inspirations? Oh man, I mean, I really have to, I mean, I'm a singer, I gotta talk about singers, you know. Um, definitely some of the greatest, you know, like Aretha and Shaka, Etta, you know, people like that for sure have influenced me. Uh, but I also, you know, I'm someone who's actually coming from a, a place where <sighs> I've, I've had a lot of trees growing into me, <laughs> you know, where I'm at. Um, I, I really listen, I listen to a lot of, like, rock, too, and, like, you know. Just variety. Of yeah, music. I'm not one thing, really, and all my influences come from a thousand different places, so. No, that's good. You know. Yeah, I'm, she's in about, like, 12 bands. <laughs> yeah, I've got quite jobs. a few projects going on, but. Oh, and they're not wow. all hip-hop. There's also, yeah, like, a Shibu, folk Shibu. band, and. And uh, I have like a funk rock band. I'm starting a punk band soon. So like, oh, got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, you know, like make it big at, in at least one genre, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> versatility, that's what I'm saying. Exactly, jack of all the trades right over here. It's just a snow bunny, <laughs> oh, but nah. That's right. Yeah, you bring like all the elements together, man. We got the old school hip hop, we got the classical, we got everything you can think of. It's sort of like, you know, all, that, all that comes together, like to hold each other up. Like, nobody will fall, so we'll all be each other's crushes type. Mm. Type of thing. 